We begin this Tuesday with new details into the case of Jeffrey Epstein, who is appealing a federal judge's decision to deny the accused a child sex trafficker's bail. Now, the update comes as we learn more about Epstein's private island, where he allegedly continued to bring young girls as recently as last year. John Huddy joins us live from Miami, where Epstein spent time partying with his rich and powerful friends. John, what more do we know about Epstein's exploits on the so-called pedophile island? Well, Pedophile Island, Scotty, that's one of the names, uh, among others, that this island has been given. And what we're talking about is the 70-acre island uh, that's called Little St. James Island. Epstein owns both Little St. James Island and then the bigger Great St. James Island. And if you look at a map, Google Earth or, or whatever, it, both of those are off the coast of St. Thomas Island, which is, of course, in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Now, we've started getting a clearer picture um, about uh, Little St. James Island, Great St. James Island in the last couple weeks since Epstein was uh, arrested and taken into custody and indicted on the sex trafficking and conspiracy to commit sex trafficking charges uh, based on various reports, uh, based on various interviews with former employees of the island, also locals and residents on uh, the larger neighboring St. Thomas Island. Uh, over the weekend, among the reports, Vanity Fair published a lengthy article in which um, uh, two former employees, uh, former airport workers, among others, were interviewed about Little St. James Island and specifically about Jeffrey Epstein. And these uh, employees said, and, and we've also heard this before, uh, Scotty, that Epstein possibly as recently as this year, or if anything, as recently as last year, was still bringing underage looking young women. Uh, to his primary residence on Little St. James Island. Now, remember, when we're saying underage-looking women, Epstein has been accused of sexually assaulting women or girls, I should say, as young as 13, 14 years old. This is even after going to jail. Remember in 2005 in what's been called that sweetheart deal. This is after serving 13 months in the Palm Beach County Jail and registered as a sex offender. Well, according to these interviews, despite bringing these young looking women authorities really weren't keeping an eye on him or at least they weren't checking up and really making sure that this registered sex offender wasn't engaging in any further illegal activity well fast forward to the present and he is accused of sex trafficking conspiracy to commit sex trafficking and these two islands specifically little st james island are certainly being looked at as far as any of the criminal exploits and illegal activity and behavior that was going on there along with his Upper East Side mansion, the townhouse on East 71st Street on the Upper East Side, along with his ranch in New Mexico, and then, of course, his residence, his mansion in uh, West Palm Beach, just down the street from President Trump's Mar-a-Lago. All of them part of the allegations, all of them now being part of this investigation. Epstein's lawyers uh, requested that be, he be released on bail on $100 million bond. Well, a federal judge uh, denied that, saying that Epstein poses a significant flight risk, not only because of his extraordinary wealth, he's said to be a billionaire or at least worth $500 million, but also he's got two private jets. Uh, federal agents say that they found when they raided his Upper East Side townhouse, they find, found a pile of cash, diamonds, what looked like a foreign passport, possibly some kind of fake passport, all in Epstein's safe, along with numerous images, possibly hundreds if not thousands of images of young looking nude underage women. So at that bail request was denied. Epstein remains in custody in the Manhattan Correctional Facility, the detention, detention center in Manhattan, where it looks like at this point he will remain as this investigation continues. He is, if convicted, and he has pled not guilty, he's facing 45 years in prison. That would essentially mean the rest of his life. Now, in the fallout from all of this, of course, Trump's labor secretary, Alex Acosta, resigned. Acosta uh, brokered that 2005 so-called sweetheart deal that allowed Epstein to avoid a federal prison sentence and lengthy prison time, instead serving the 13 months in Palm Beach County Jail, where he was able to get out during the day for work release, going to his Palm Beach office, where he continued to meet with his very various business associates and friends. This is another major part of the investigation, his so-called black book. 
who he was aligned with, who his friends were that possibly engaged in some of these illegal and criminal activities. Remember, Epstein has been tied to former President Bill Clinton, who at one time traveled with Epstein, to Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, among many others, even President Trump, who in recent days said that he hasn't talked to Epstein in 15 years and said, I was never a fan of him. Okay, but these powerful people, the rich, the famous, the powerful folks that hung out with Jeffrey Epstein, they, of course, will be part of this that, that's being looked into. And if anybody was engaged in some of this illegal behavior, as you mentioned, as we start to get a clearer picture about his residence and in particular, uh, the island where his primary residence was and possibly this criminal activity was Lot, ongoing. Well, lots Scotty, of details, John, coming out about this. And thank you so much for going over all of them as the story continues to unfold.